What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest project 404 ROM and this is the 24th December 2020 build over here and let me first talk about why I am doing a video of this ROM and this will be a little bit weird because I did not set up this ROM and I do not have anything logged in or something I just have the Wi-Fi connected so I have been getting a lot of requests to do a video on this particular ROM and I would say that my experience is not great at all with this ROM. I do not have any hate towards this ROM because earlier I did a video on the Android 10's Project 404. I loved it so much. But here let me actually talk about some things. Let me actually go into the Android version and show you this first. But I'll tell you the problems later. Here in the Android version section as you can see if I do this. Here it shows Android 11's logo as you can see. So of course it is based on Android 11 and it gives me haptic feedback whenever I'm doing this. And here the 404 version as you can see, if I tap on it, it doesn't do anything but this is version like 4.1 of the 404 project version. The security patch is of November 5th, 2020 still. I do not know why but yes, it is still November 5th, 2020, not quite December. The stock kernel here is something like 4.14 Raphael kernel of the 404, custom kernel I should say and the kernel version is of December 23rd. Here is the build number. Now let me talk about my flashing experience over here of this ROM. So there are two separate versions and they do not have any kind of names in them which one includes the gapps and which one doesn't. It's just the build date that's it in the website. So there I tried to download one and then I figured out that that's without the gapps one. So I downloaded the with gapps version because I always prefer the with gapps version. So after I flash the with gapps version and by the way this is based on OSS vendor not MIUI vendor. So after I flash the gapps included version I tried to like connect to the Wi-Fi it connected fine. Then I tried to set up the phone and right then it force closed the setup and it directed me back to the Wi-Fi kind of settings like again and again. So I could not simply set up the phone with that like GF's included version. I know these are alpha or beta kind of ROMs and there are like it is totally normal to have these kind of issues. But I'm just saying that this ROM did not work well for me at least. Then I wiped cache dynamic system data again and then I flashed the like without gapps version with a older gapps which i had and i flashed it with the nick gapps basic version of november build because i could not download the latest one the search for servers are broken right now so yes i after i flashed it as you can see here i do not have the setup wizard it just straight up directed me to the home screen did not show me any kind of setup so that is kind of how my experience is right now i won't say it is not working or it is bad or something but this is just my experience what i am sharing with you guys so now this is how the quick settings panel looks like. Let me actually show you the home screen settings. Here we have this 404 launcher and as you can see you can disable these suggestions. Okay so if I go into it. Alright so again as you can see a force close. But yes these force closes and stuff it is constantly happening in this ROM. This is what I am saying. Now let me actually show you there is double tap to sleep as you just saw. Let me actually turn on Wi-Fi calling. And one thing I am liking over here whatever like Wi-Fi there is as you can see. In this Wi-Fi settings if you look closely it will say like 4 over here these are all Wi-Fi 4 kind of version so if you have a Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz router it will show that like Wi-Fi signal and then it will show a uh, 5 written I guess if you have a 5 gigahertz router this is how the stock in call UI looks like as you can see and there is no stock like call recording option on the stock dialer I mean but there is a speaker option, hold option, etc. Things are there and Wi-Fi calling is working fine. So vault -E calling also should be working fine here. Now again, these colors I am liking on the quick settings panel. As you can see, this mint green kind of color, really cool. And you can edit the quick settings panel and you can add multiple toggles from here, like this heads up and stuff. And there is a dark theme too and night light also, you can add these. And this device does not have NFC because it is an Indian device. But if you have a global Redmi K20 Pro NFC should be working fine here. And here let me show you we also have the screen recorder. So with this you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with this stock screen recorder. This is the Android 11 screen recorder by the way. And night light again is working fine as you can see. Now stock camera here is a Snapdragon camera as you can see there is the bokeh mode and stuff. 
okay so again force closed so hfr mode is there i don't know what it does let's just stick to the photo mode okay so did you just see that how much time it took to actually switch to the photo mode let me switch to the front camera okay so the front camera switching is pretty fast i would i would say let me switch to the back again let me jump into the video as you can see camera four stopped these things keeps happening and here let me go into the settings now let's go into the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the screen on time last full charge status bar battery indicator is there and from here you can choose next to the icon battery percentage and for the like battery icon and for the like status bar battery icon you can have the circular or dotted circle icon as you can see so this is how it will look on the status bar let me go back we have the battery saver and stuff then you can see the full usage okay so i have to tap on three dots then you can see the full usage let me go to the display settings this is how it looks like we have this quick setting panel customization column and row number customization is there quick setting pull down is there i mean quick pull down is there from right or left side and we have the dark theme of course and you can like as you can see so you can schedule the dark theme too if you want that dark theme is working totally fine here no issues and auto brightness is there and inside styles and wallpapers this is how it looks like and you can add a custom theme let me show you so these are all the accent colors that you get not much there is no like proper red or yellow kind of colors so pretty stock i would say for the accent colors and in the wallpaper section as you can see there are these wallpapers these project 404 wallpapers looks really cool in my opinion these wallpapers are there as you can see let me show you more christmas wallpapers also there as you can see looks really cool i would say right now let me just switch to the grid settings and here we have all these grid options 6 by 7 6 by 6 you can customize this and we have the lock screen clocks so only six options are there for the lock screen clocks but i'm pretty fine with that let me go back we have the colors option and there is natural boosted saturated adaptive options and then inside lock screen settings we have the always on if you want that to show always on display always show time and info if you enable that always on display will turn on for you and there is the edge notifications so these are the edge lighting i guess so you can choose from system accent color if you want that and in the advanced settings we have this pickup kind of gesture hand wave etc let me go back okay double tap to wake is there so right now as you can see double tap to wake is working super fine right now let me just go to the sound settings and here is how it looks like we have this media call ring etc volumes then vibrate for calls option is there and here we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration touch sound and screenshot sort of sound etc i'll just disable that and there is the volume panel changing option and i can choose it to compact or something and this is how it looks like as you can see looks pretty beautiful with the compact one and you can expand this compact one as you can see then we have this styled volume panel and this is how it looks again looks very beautiful and in the aosp settings this is how the aosp volume panel looks like of course pretty stock and then we have this me audio direct sound quality should be fine with this we also have this youth edition option and there is the hi-fi audio option let me actually scroll down to the system settings and here we have a system updated as you can see you can check for updates from here in the gesture settings we have this swipe to take screenshot and stuff so if you enable it as you can see you can take a screenshot or edit them if you want to okay so what is this all right so this is a like stock kind of editor not the latest editor as you can see you can just crop it i guess so yes but the quality seems very bad but it won't be that bad pretty sure this is like just a glitch it will be fine when you crop and you are done with it but this editor is quite old i would say we have this quick torch so if i like enable it and right now if i lock the device and hold the like power button as you can see the toggle torch functionality working super fine then we have the quickly open camera option and here if i double tap the power button again it does work super fine no issues with the quickly open camera feature and in the system navigation gestures we have this gesture navigation two button three button navigations option and here if i go into the settings of this here we have the gesture bar length so i can increase the length as you can see the pill bar size has increased right now and here we have the amount of screen height used for like the going back gesture you can customize that too and it should show okay as you can see it, it is showing like how much area is being used for going back gesture 
and by the way in this gesture settings if you go into the power menu we have this enable advanced restart so if you enable that right now as you can see this is how the power menu looks like and we do have the advanced reboot if i tap the restart then it will show recovery system if i tap the three dots it will also show the bootloader option also we have this front camera sound effects and from here you can choose up to these many options the star wars kind of sounds are not there and the camera led you can like disable it if you want to the default keyboard here is a usb keyboard now let's jump into the security option and here we have the fingerprint option let me actually set up the fingerprint and this light if you are noticing it, it's green by default and the fingerprint is like the mi 9 fod here not the loss fod and let's try from the always on display unlock super fine let me try with my left hand thumb again unlock super fine from the always on display now let me double tap and from here again from the lock screen works fine let me try from the lock screen again with the left hand thumb again as you can see the fingerprint scanner should be very reliable here no issues with the fingerprint scanner also there is the face unlock option so let me just set up for the face unlock these two options are turned on by default so now let's try the face unlock let me just double tap on the like lock screen and as you can see it pops out the front camera and unlocks the device as soon as it detects my face so again as you can see it pops out the front camera as soon as i double tap over here and it unlocks fine no issues with the face unlock here i should say it is working 100 percent of the time also these are all the stock apps that you get over here we have this moto dolby audio as you can see so that is great let me actually go back we have this able audio i think this is a music player or something then we have this music app too so a lot of apps are there like some apps are pre-included here we have a recorder too looks pretty cool let me actually see which recorder is this this just says sound recorder so okay so this is just a sound recorder as you can see could be some kind of AOSP sound recorder and also you can search for some particular app over here as you can see on the app drawer so that's it for the project 404 rom guys on the redmi k20 pro i am not going to be able to show you the benchmarks and stuff because i did not set up my phone yet and i have my primary sim in this device and that is why i am going to be switching to a different rom because i need to set up the rom properly because sms and stuff you know so yeah this was the project 404 rom on the k20 pro let me know in the comments what do you guys think give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now